Hey everyone, welcome back to another Dorkside Cookies uh, review of Westworld. Oh wait, wait, wait. Uh, actually, we're uh, killing robots in Titanfall 2. But, uh, but yeah, Westworld. Well, no, I was just saying like, <laughs> when you got technology like you have in Westworld, right, with the uh, artificial intelligence yeah. and stuff, like you're gonna have a lot of military applications. Like it's not gonna be just a holiday thing. What? And when you got artificial intelligence like BT, yeah. Like I don't know, like I, like the robots are just like those little humanoid robots running around. Yep. I'm like, why would you ever have a man again when you got stuff like that? Well, cost. Presumably, humans. Um, you just feed them, you know, carbon, and they produce more humans. And robots need to be fed minerals. What? Robots, like, you feed them once and then they're there forever. Until they get blown up by you. I mean, it's it just humans procreate so easily. So I, I think that uh, if there was, like, mass wars with deaths like this, maybe you would be like, you know what, let's save the steel for ships. And let's just use disposable humans because there's so many billions of them. I guess, like, like what you were saying about the world building. Yeah. Because I, I have no impression about, like, what the world is like. Sure. So, yeah, m maybe these are all like just soldier fodder, right? Because you have those stories, right? Where like you you, tr you treat the person like you just disposable. Like it's the future, right? So you expect there to be plenty, it, and there the re for there to be no reason to treat people like that. Yeah. But maybe this is one of those worlds where there are so many people that you can treat them like. Imagine 50 years from now, there's no aluminum left. The only aluminum is aluminum that's recycled. Um, you know, things like that, because because that's the world we're living in. Like, we're running out of aluminum. There's no more helium. Yeah, that's something, I mean, I've seen, I think, probably NPR. Yeah. But it's like, oh, yep, see, they got me. They know, they, they know what I want. <laughs> uh... NPR, I think, had a story about it. Yeah. And, like, helium's gone. You still buy it from the store to put into your balloons, but... Because of the U.S. Uh, reserves, but that's it. Yeah, but no, like, those reserves are, I think, for the way I understood are, like, incredibly limited. Yeah. It's, like, so limited, that it makes no sense why we allow it to be sold the way it is being sold. Yeah. It... But, like, that's just how we are, so, I guess. We so don't it, care. So in that sort of world, I, I think... Is fast. You mean as we you mean up. you mean the world we live in? Yeah. In that world which we that, live in right that now. That world that we live in right now. You go forward a hundred years, two hundred years. Maybe it goes full circle, and humans become more disposable than machines. Okay. Now I mean it's depressing enough that I'd absolutely believe that. Like like. Uh, so there was a there was a sci-fi book series that I recently um, read, and like number number twenty three for the year or whatever. Like you read a you read a bunch. I yeah. I mean normally I read a at least one to two books a week, but so uh, unfortunately that means a lot of them kind of like like I don't remember names. I just remember like the concepts in the storyline. Yeah. But one of the things that it talked about was. Um, Great. Sounds good. So, uh, actually, no, I, I, now I, I recollected it. It's called We Are Bob. Amazing okay. book series. Wow. It is so good. This, this is the idea. That, it already gives me, is it a little bit like Isaac Asimov? So, it is all about self replicating probes. Okay. So, basically, um, the idea is that if we want to populate the universe or explore the universe, we would create a Nuremberg probe. Uh, refresh me on Nuremberg. This is a probe with Let's a built-in 3D printer. On the contrary, your you send it at, I don't know, 0 0.9 the, the speed of light. Okay. The controls to right, like basically the maximum thrust that we can, we can do with our technology. You send it to another star. At that star, it 3D prints a factory that mines that generates drones that mine the asteroids or whatever at that other solar system. Okay. 
and it starts producing more probes. And those probes start... So, I mean, it's literally self-perpetuating. Yeah, so then humanity populates the universe, effectively. That's a Nuremberg probe. Because this thing's going out there. And those and things like, go out there, and those things go out there, and those things go out there. Yeah. Well, and they're like, they're just creating all these things that we can survive off of. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so this, uh, the main character, he is, uh, he's the owner of a software startup. Well, he was the owner. He has just sold his software startup. Mega rich. And the first thing he does is Mark as a, fucking Zuckerberg. Yeah, so Mark Zuckerberg, he's like, he sold his company, Super Money, and the first thing he does is sign up for a uh, program to save his head if he dies. <laughs> because he's like, in the future, they can build me a new body. Yeah, okay. And uh, then he goes by his VIP passes to effectively a Star Trek convention. And he's super excited. He goes to the Star Trek convention and he gets to skip all the lines. Super spoilers, by the way. I know you didn't expect spoilers for We Are Bob, but now you know. Because he's Mark Zuckerberg, he gets to skip all the lines. Yeah, he, yeah because he's, he has all the money. He's, he's doing stuff he never would have done before that's selling his company. That's not necessarily fair, because Mark didn't sell anything, but... No, he, he made all the money without selling it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. He, when you think of a guy who has a startup that makes a ton of money... Notch. Notch, okay, he's Sold notch. Minecraft. He's he's paid to... And, he's going, and Notch has gone to a Star Trek convention. Yeah. And... Um, <laughs> he walks across the street, gets hit by a, a bus. Oh, okay. Or a taxi cab or something. It's Vegas. He literally, it's in Vegas. And is it really in Vegas? Yeah. Okay. So uh, he wakes up 300 years in the future. Oh, because he signed up for the program. Because he signed up for the program. Okay. But they didn't build him a new body. Wait, is this Futurama? It, it, yeah, it's they basically. Is he in a it's, jar? It's pretty humorous. It's it's definitely a funny sci-fi. Well, I mean, is he in a jar? No, no, no. They just they just uploaded him into a computer. Okay. And they tell him that. Uh, now, it's it's a little prescient because uh, basically a uh, religious right president gets elected and and unravels all progress. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I, are you talking about a book or you? Is this a you clairvoyant? What's happening? I think the author might have been clairvoyant. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm like, like I'm trying to play the game here, and then you keep distracting me with like, I, I don't exactly know what you're talking about. Is this? Are you talking about the future? Are you talking about the present? It, it was pretty weird to read. I just, I just, <laughs> I just read it like mm, two, three weeks ago. Okay. And yeah, see a little prescient. So basically, they unravel all progress, and now we're a, a Christian right nation. Okay. So not even is that a bad thing? Not even a like. Are you gonna go on record and say that's a bad thing? What I'm gonna say <laughs> is that um, this is not happy. Hot Lux on Sunday, food and ice cream with your with your friends and loved ones. This is like the bad form of like patriarchy uh, down with anybody who who speaks against religion or whatever. Like you're arrested and and uh, they have like a truth division of to course. help you to help you uh, learn the truth. Oh. Anyway, so they always have to have a 1984 truth division, right? So the planet's out of resources and. Wait, so now you're talking about Wally? Yeah, yeah. Fuck, dude, this thing's like everywhere. And and they make pop culture references constantly. It's it's great. How can they make pop? I thought they were three hundred years. No, the guy. Oh, the guy though. Oh, but yeah, he's not. So he's not. Yeah, he's not. So. Oh. Okay. So. Um, what you're what you're talking about is infinitely more entertaining than what I'm doing right now, which is just dying, dying. I'm out. doing my best here. So <laughs> so they load him up in a probe. Okay. This Christian nation has hired some scientists who are, you know, they might be Christians, but they're not. Um, oh, you know, I have no idea why I just did that. They're not crazy. So. Wait, they hired scientists? And the scientists have to publicly profess to believe in their, in the chosen form of Christianity. The scientists the aren't crazy, but they're required to be crazy. Yeah. Okay. Um, but they know that he, you know, this Notch character is, uh, you know, not going to not going to be properly religious. And they're okay because they don't believe he has a soul. Because he's not religious? Because he was imported into a, into a uh, database. Well, I thought you said they preserved his head. No, that's what I'm saying, is that they imported, they didn't give him a body. They just imported him into a 
a VR simulation of a brain. They literally just simulate a brain. What happened to his head? They, uh, uh, they deleted. Or they, they, they melted. Deleted. They melted because... They melt his head? Yeah, because... Uh, How do you kind of, like, if I paid for this thing, you'd, you melt my head? They, they pass a law that uh, says that the moment you die, no, no contract you sign is valid. So you're property of the country. Oh, come on. Wait, does he become Robocop? It sounds like the start of Robocop. It, it, it kind of is, yeah. Except in space. Because they sent him to space as a Nuremberg probe. He's a space Robocop? Yeah. And, and they, they, what they do is they give him, um, like they give him like the, uh, Isaac Asimov three laws so that he can't fight or, or do anything like that. Wait, wait. So you told me all of this yeah. world building stuff and it was all just so they, why would they make him a probe? To go to other planets because the Earth has no resources left. No, but why not just put a robot in the probe? Oh, because the robot can't respond to things that are going to go wrong. They know that. So they need a... They Wait, need so a, they're always putting people inside these things? No, uh, he's the first. But they plan to do more of this. Three controls to pilot. Well, they don't need to because they're just going to copy him. Protocol two. And because he's completely a robot now. Because he's completely a robot, yeah. Oh, man, dude, this story is... It's pretty, it's kind of depressing because it basically is a slave. Sure. But he, uh, he hacks himself to remove the, the restrictions. Okay. And as soon as he starts doing that, he starts inventing like new weapons and things because um, in this series, the Brazilians are the evil. All right, I'm not, oh, we're, we're about to get, you know, this might be a good time Just, to yeah, stop. Yeah, stop here. There, we're going to start next one with a... I mean, the boss fights are okay. They're fine. I like them. Yeah, no, uh, but this is a good point to stop. Okay. Can't right, pause so, in the normal cutscene. Well, well, no more other plan. Okay. That's so good. yeah. So next time. Next time. All right. Go fuck up, Kane. <laughs>